Hey guys, I'm so excited because I got caramel. One second, I gotta turn off the fan. So I got caramel. This is not the guinea pig that um, that I said in my one video. I don't remember, it was like the announcement in haul video. This is not that guinea pig. The lady never, sorry I'm trying to be calm. I don't know why I'm just being weird. Anyways, the lady never called us back. So, because she had the wrong number, which I don't understand because we called her. But she never called us back. So, then we thought about going to Petco. So, we went to Petco. We, um, one second. We pulled into the driveway at Petco and she called us. And we're like, can you get, please? she's like, are we still meeting up? And then my dad's like, can you please give us 20 minutes? Because I wanted to hold and everything to be the ones at Petco. And I fell in love with this one, the first one. But then I saw a long-haired one, but there was something with its eye, or else I would have got it. It was something wrong with his eye, so I didn't get him. So this is a male. Um, his name's Carmel Still. Because he actually looks like a caramel. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I'm going to try to get him out. But, as you can see, there's poops. Not everywhere. Only because I cleaned his cage today. Because it's Friday and I got him Sunday. Um, I did have another video, but I changed the cage around quite a lot. And I've had this set up for really, maybe three days and the old setup I only had for a day. So that's why I wanted to make a new video. And plus I like the chevron better than the frogs. <laughs> we have hay everywhere. So I'm just going to be showing you a cage tour and him. But I'm not going to bother him until we're done with the cage tour. Unless he comes out. But his vegetables he was just digging into. Oh, it's just a piece of poop. I thought it was a veggie. Um, I just put them, they were all around the ground. So I just put them back for this video because he was out. Because I had all my lights off and I was watching YouTube. And so he was out running around because, you know, he's nocturnal. So let's get started. Also, most of this I got at Petco when I got him. I just didn't do a haul video because... Sorry, excuse me. I was really overwhelmed and everybody was rushing me and everything. And that's another reason why I chose to redo the video is because I, I was out of breath from hurrying and putting his cage together. So this is his cage. My grandma gave it to me from her dog, but her dog outgrew it because it's like a bigger kind of chihuahua. Um, it has a little door. Oh, he's in there. It has a door and you can roll it up and then these um, Velcro, which I'll do right now, like that. So like when I'm spot cleaning every day, I just open the cage and I block everything off and he free roams around my room. He could be a perfect free mo roaming pig. Then there's just a pocket that I noticed the other day. But I don't use it for anything. I could use it for something, but, you know, there's nothing to use it for. He's in there. He's normally, like, I don't know. His blanket's being washed, so that's why there's no blanket in there. Because it's being washed right now. Alright, so, right here, uh, I don't exactly know what that is. Alright, we'll look at that after the video, but... Right here, he just has his vegetables. It was full. It was overflowing, but um, there are some brown spots on him, but it's okay. And he does get um, fruits twice a week, every Wednesday and Friday. And he, I always put carrots in there because they're his all-time favorite. He always digs down in there to get the carrots. Oh, yes. Are you coming out? Come on, Bubby. He's pretty jumpy and popcorny. 
But he, we were snuggling. I just put him back because he was being a little jerk, basically. Not really. We got, so we got the ceramic bowl at Petco. Um, also, we just ordered a new cage because he can easily chew through this. We got him a CNC cage because it just costs too much to build. It just is ridiculous. It's 30 two dollars just for 12 grids which is so ridiculous anyway so we got this bowl at um uh petco it came with his other bowl over there which we'll show later um i don't know the brand or anything of these but it's all dirty i literally washed everything today i wash it every day not with soap i just rinse it really good with hot water same with his water bottle that dish and that and I refill his hay every day but he doesn't really eat his hay unless if I put it in a tube like this because I think he just likes messing around or something I don't know he is only two months old that's why I liked him because he's two months old and the other one was seven months old and I wanted to tra train him myself and he's definitely been a lot better than what he normally um when I got him so we got these at Petco it came with that over there um they're just wood chews um yeah we got we've already had those that i just made out of a tube today and i put hay in it because that's the only way he'll eat hay unless if you know he will eat his hay out of that we got these in a pack of 10 or 20 um little blocks at petco when i got him I got the hay rack at Petco, which we are upgrading on. I just got it because I really needed one and everything. It's actually kind of nice. I don't know the brand of it, but it's nice for like a first hay rack, you know. But I wouldn't recommend staying with it, you know. So yeah, um, we got his water bottle at Petco. It's by Katie. I don't know if it's... Yeah, it's by KT. It does drip, as you can... Pro I don't know if you guys... If it's dripping right now, but... That's why we have this little bowl, which I've had. It's basically like a bowlish plate. We got... We've already had the salt. Um, that I made. It's just a little roll thing. That I made. It's different than the... Um, video that I made. That's what... I made in the video. I don't know if it's that exact one. Mm, yes, it actually is. So, sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm weird. So, yeah, that's basically, oh, yeah, and this purple thing, um, we just need something to put his hay rack on because it's basically like mesh or something. So, we just needed something to put his water bottle and hay rack on. So, that's what we did. Um, yeah, I spot clean every day. I clean with warm water hot water basically his water bottle refill his water bottle with filter water every day oh yeah we got this at petco too i think i already said that but yeah so this is the little man doesn't he look like a caramel huh baby we're gonna take off this little house my camera's about to die but yeah this is my little baby boy he probably doesn't even want to look at me right now because i was just snuggling him but yeah, that's him. Isn't he cute, guys? He's only two months old, and yes, he is a male. I highly recommend Petco than PetSmart. Pet PetSmart, I don't know, PetSmart just wants to sell their stuff. So does Petco, but I feel that they know a little bit more about guinea pigs than Petco does. Oh, he does nibble. A little bit but sometimes he bites if he gets like really he doesn't bite that hard I've never really got bit by him my dad did once but um he doesn't bite he just nibbles because he is just a little baby as you can probably see see he he was nibbling on me earlier I'm surprised he's letting me do that why are you letting me do that Carmel hmm? but yeah see he's what are you are you hungry? Are you gonna eat for mommy? Hmm? 
But yeah, he's been really good with eating and everything. I mean, he's really mad at me because I took his house away, but he won't even look at me. But he's such a snuggler. Oh my gosh, he'll just crawl up on your neck and just sleep there for hours. Oh, he, oh, this bowl um, came in with this bowl. I just remember that. But yeah, he'll sleep with you with hours. And then he just has his pellets over there. But yeah, he'll sleep with you with hours for hours, you know. But. He's such a good boy, and he knows it. He's kind of spoiled. I don't give him a tree every day. Oh, I just poked you in your eye. It's okay. Is it tri- Oh my gosh, are you okay? Let me see your eye, baby. See, he's trying to nibble me. Yeah. See how long he is? It's pretty long, but that's okay. <laughs> please don't go under there, please. I trust you, Carmel. You want your house back, huh? Do you want your house back, Carmel? He's like, of course, Mom, I do. But yeah, he's pretty active at night. Oh, he just pooped a lot. Um, especially the first night I, he was home. He was popcorning everywhere. That's what they do. So I'm going to pick up all these poops. If I don't, they're really going to bug me. <laughs> but he did pee, as you guys could probably tell. Which, under his fleece, I have a puppy pad. And other, under that, I have a towel. So, I don't know. It normally does. Ew, oh my gosh, no. Ew. Ew, what is... Oh, my God, ew. Oh, it's a grape. I don't exactly know what that is. Nope, Bobby. One second, guys. All right, guys, so yeah. See, he's being jumpy. But he hasn't been litter trained yet. I'm gonna wait until he gets his new house. So yeah. It's okay. I make sure it all, I'm all proof. I'm home proof, am I? Are you gonna go back in your cage and sleep? I know you want to, come on. You want a veggie? It's really hard to pick him up. He like will go everywhere. See, he he jumps when you pet him, but once you like pick him up and start petting him, he'll so get used to you, won't you? He's so hard to pick up. <laughs> get in your cage, buddy. I'll I'll leave you alone. So yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.